Because once they get that clamp in there and things shift and change, they can't guarantee that's where they're going to put it. If they do, when they do, it comes out in a bad spot. <laughs> it's probably it's, not how I feel. Like, yeah, it's, that's old school. Mark and Pearson's is real old school. If you're a real piercer, after you clamp it, now that tells me what's Ooh. going on. I need to come in a little bit more shallow than I got that mark. 3, 2, 1, I need to hit you right there. Now that's where you need that to be. Yeah. That's and it. that just You're done. that doesn't have anything to do with me marking it. That has something to do with me clamping it and seeing the actual thickness. Go back it. So that's Go why I don't it. mark piercings, <laughs> but it's okay because I mean at least it makes you feel confident that the piercing is centered, you know. Mm -hmm. So now that is that's a perfect belly piercing. Look at mine, see. <laughs> that <one's pretty. laughs> Thank you. It's a perfect belly button piercing. Thank you. you did great. Did it hurt? Mm. Somewhat. A little bit. It didn't yeah. kill you though. You also, move it up, move it down. If that dangle bothers you, mm -hmm. you can come by and I'll take it off. Have a little tool. I'll snap it off. Mm -hmm. The dangle doesn't bother most people. The dangle is made out of silver. Yes. The bar is made out of 316 LVM surgical implantation steel. It's alloy 